As you heard Stephanie report there, the CDC pointed to three new studies today in making the case for this third shot, a booster, to now be made available September 20th for all Americans. So what did they see in those studies that concerned them? Let's get right to Dr. Richard Besser back with us again tonight, the president of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, former acting director of the CDC, and of course someone we know well here after his years at ABC. Dr. Besser, the CDC released those three studies today, all of which showed uh, vaccine efficacy waning over time. Uh, but I'm curious, scientists still don't know for sure if that's just the vaccines waning over time or if it's that plus the power of this Delta variant we're seeing. You know, that's right, David. You, you can't tell from these studies because two things were happening at once. The time from the, the, the period people received their second dose uh, was, was, was uh, increasing and a new variant was arriving. And what they saw over that time is that the vaccines were less effective against overall disease transmission. But in the meantime, I guess we should point out, Dr. Besson, I think you would agree with this, that we know these vaccines are still doing a very good job against severe disease and hospitalization. But it was what we heard from the Surgeon General today, Dr. Murthy, who said the concern is that the steady decline that they're seeing in efficacy so far, that it could lead, he said, at some point to reduce protection against severe disease. And that's what they're saying is most worrisome here. Well, I, I think that's right. I, I hear what they're saying, the, the concern about the potential de decrease in protection from severe disease and hospitalization. But the good news is these vaccines remain extremely effective. They saw no decline in, in, in uh, the level of protection from what we're most concerned about. I think they're getting a little ahead of, ahead of themselves here. I want to see the FDA's uh, findings in terms of how safe and effective they feel these vaccines are. And then there's an independent committee, the advisory committee on immunization practices that makes recommendations to CDC in terms of who should get vaccines and when. I'll be watching that deliberation closely to see, is it truly time to give boosters to everyone in America? So bottom line tonight, with just a few seconds left, you say wait to see what the FDA says on this and then that CDC advisory panel. Exactly.